It's three o'clock in the morning, I'm in the ward kitchen. This is Minute Medicine, bringing you a shocking revelation about cookies. Get those carbs away from me, man. That's 100 mils. To prevent the transatlantic biscuit versus cookie argument, I have chosen something that both Brits and Americans would refer to as a cookie. I don't want to say one side is more correct than the other, despite the fact Americans are obviously wrong. Cookie! Yeah, okay, obviously he gets a free pass. On the packet here, it says that each cookie contains 72 calories, but it also says each one contains 72 kilocalories, so 72,000 calories. How can they both be the same? At some point in the past, the food industry dropped a kilo, so calorie and kilocalorie mean the same thing. It's an odd quirk, but I think it's actually contributed to us not realizing how much energy we're consuming. The official SI unit for energy is the joule, which could be defined as one newton meter, so one newton through the distance of a meter, or the amount of energy dissipated as heat when one amp passes through a resistance of one ohm for one second. Neither of these are very intuitive when it comes to food. So the calorie was invented, which you probably know is the amount of energy needed to heat one gram or one milliliter of water by one degree Celsius at one atmosphere pressure. Food's calorific content used to be calculated in exactly this way, by burning it and seeing how much a known volume of water was heated. I don't think anybody burnt these cookies, nor a Big Mac, nor a packet of M&Ms, or anywhere you see these numbers every day. Instead, food manufacturers use the Atwater system devised by the father of American nutrition, Wilbur Olin Atwater. Atwater co-invented the respiration calorimeter, an accurate way to measure the amount of energy that food provides and devised a system to measure it with its own unit, the food calorie. He proved something quite revolutionary at the time, that if you don't use energy that you consume, you store it. 120 years ago, Atwater published an analysis of 2,600 foodstuffs and concluded that a good diet should be high in protein, beans, vegetable, low in carbohydrate, and he stated that Americans ate too much sugar, ate too much fat, and did too little exercise. Atwater was a supporter of the temperance movement or abstinence from alcohol, but ironically it was his work that demonstrated there was energy in alcohol and led to decades of alcohol manufacturers claiming that their products were nutritious. However, he did have a big positive impact. His work led to major initiatives to combat childhood malnutrition in the USA and he of course gave birth to the multi-billion dollar industry of nutritional science in particular in sport. Back to my cookie and the shocking revelation. Now we know that this has 72,000 calories, not 72. Those numbers come from a chart based on how much protein, carbohydrate, and fat a foodstuff has. So it's a bit of a crude science, but I worked out that this cookie alone has enough energy to raise a liter of water from room temperature to almost boiling. A can of Coke, for example, has enough energy to raise a can of Coke 421 degrees Celsius. So maybe think about the energy content in your food next time you reach for a cookie. When you're on a night shift, it doesn't count.